now, 8.45, Johnny Depp's new movie, Black Mass, hits theaters today, and he's already earning high marks for his portrayal of notorious Boston mobster James Whitey Bulger. That's right. Natalie sat down with him and his co-star, Joel Edgerton. This is, as I understand, the first time you two have worked together on film, right? And it will be the last. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was terrible. I can help you, Jimmy, and you can help me. You play John Connolly, who as the FBI agent became so crucial to sort of creating what Whitey ended up becoming. In our version of the story, a kind of a, a telling of that tale of, of Jimmy having saved John from a bullying incident. And so that, that relationship strangely continued, I think, into an adult life where, where John had a, a, a bit of a pinch of worship or adoration uh, for, for Jimmy. If nobody sees it, it didn't happen. Johnny, for you, I mean, the physical transformation is unreal. At first, I didn't even know it was you playing Whitey Bulger. Oh, good. It's incredible. Tell me about, you know, how you prepared to play Whitey. I, I, I you know, glommed onto as much footage of Bulger as I could. I trust you, Stevie. Ironically, there's not a great deal. Jimmy Bulger had respectfully declined to meet me because he wasn't a big fan of the book or the writers, mm -hmm. understandably. What really helps you find that character mm -hmm. is when you get into the ring with other actors. Yeah. So when Joel and I were in scenes, he was absolutely John Connolly, you know, on the money, which pushed me to 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 maintain that Whitey or to push Whitey up up a step. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. It seems like you always sort of get lost in your roles. Yeah. Do you prefer that? Well, the last thing I want to look like is myself, you know. <laughs> um, I, I've always felt that it was important to escape. I always figured if I just did the same thing over and over, mm -hmm. I'd not only bore myself, but I'd bore the audience, you know. When did you get out of Alcatraz? Oh, uh, that's nearly ten years ago. Well, it's wonderful to have you back in the neighborhood. Did you guys have a lot of fun on set too, Joel? You know, it's kind of the scene where we meet in the alleyway. You got two minutes. And the whole question of whether he was going to be a rat or not was in the air. <laughs> Almost as if on cue, like it was a take two or take three, this massive Boston rat just runs out <laughs> into the middle of the take and boneheads the shot and stands up, looks like, is that Johnny Depp? Right, and then runs off. <laughs> <laughs> At a certain point, you do the scene a few times. Once you kind of gone through the thing a certain amount of times and you feel like you've gotten it, we would just go psychotically off page, you know, and, and start talking about, you know, I mean, uh, it could have been anything. Oh yes, the circus last night, wasn't it wonderful? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> you guys, the film is great, and I'm sure it's going to do very well. Oscar's a calling. Oscar who? <laughs> Just Oscar this, Meyer. There's this little Oscar Meyer. golden dude named Oscar. Oh, you're talking about a statue? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Oh, we're cool, we're cool. <laughs> yes, he <laughs> is. He really is. Cool. It's a guy that movie. Me too. Is it out yet? Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.